Hey, how's it going, guys? Professor here, P-R-O-F-E-S-S-O-A-R. -S -S Today we're going to go over setting up your MIDI with your FL Studios, and specifically your Akai MPK MIDI, if you uh, have one of those, and how to get the pads to uh, do the drums while you're using your keys for your synths and your notes. So let me turn on my uh, phone so I can show you guys what we're dealing with here. All right, so we have our Akai MPK MIDI, Mini, and make sure if you get it new, you know you'll have a cord with you. But uh, yeah, you got your um, MIDI cable. Any MIDI device you have should have that. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need to plug your USB end into your computer somewhere, uh, preferably uh, one of your USB ports, or else you might not get it to work properly. Um, There we go. Ah, and then, of course, your MIDI end right over here on this side. So once you get that in, you're going to see some lights go on. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now I'm switching back to the screen so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, guys. So say you get your MPK Mini. If you got it new, then you can go... If you guys don't have an MPK and you just have a any type of MIDI controller, you could skip this step and go where go to where the FL Studios part is and the FL Studios options. I'll put a link in the description to the part of the video that that starts. But for those of you with the MPK Mini, if you want to uh, set up your controller to do this, you need to download the MPK Mini Editor online off of their website. You'll have a piece of paper in the box where to go do that. Once you do that, I need you to get your programs and your device set up. Everything is going to be your MPK Mini 2. Just click on that, everything. And you're going to end up sending it when we finish. So the biggest important thing is um, to copy all this stuff right here in Bank A and Bank B. Copy your notes, uh, your CC, PC, whatever the toggle thing is. Copy that. Just copy pretty much everything that you're seeing on here. I still haven't figured out how to get these knobs to function in my FL Studios, but uh, I'll try and figure that out, and we'll go over that next. But uh, make sure you have the screen copied. So just pause it for a quick second. Copy this. Once you're done, send to RAM. Apply. Okay. Boom. Now that we have that done, let's open up a new project in FL Studios. All right, guys. This is where we're going to pick up with everyone. So... Go into your options first and your MIDI settings. You're going to see your outputs and inputs. You're going to make sure your inputs on MPK Mini 2 enable that thing. It's just a generic, just, you know. I mean, you can choose out of any of these, but the, your, your generic controller is going to be what you want to do. And your port 1. Also, synchronize it to the MIDI clock. That's great for, like, your arpeggiator and stuff like that. Um, and your output is going to be your MPK Mini 2 also. And you'll notice that the send to master sync is on as well. See? Synced. So make sure you have all those going. If you don't see it immediately, refresh your device list. So now that you have all this set up, close this. Perfect. Boom. Now you're going to see that whenever you hit a note or a key, you're just going to know that it's making sounds. Great. That's cool. But now we're going to do the next step. Uh, options. Or let's add, um, let's add something that everyone's going to have. Uh, let's add Harmer into here, and let's add FPC. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to make your drums come from here and your keys come from here and make them both activate at the same time. So you see on this right here that this is green. If you click on one of these, one of them is activated. What you need to do is left-click, and then right click whatever you want to turn on. See, your right click's gonna turn it on and off. And now that you have both of these on, we're gonna do something quickly. I want you to hit the pad on your controller. All right, cool, so we're seeing the drums come out of here. I want you to hit the keys on your controller. So you're seeing that this is All 
All right, cool. So you guys should be able to do this now. Now the next step here that we're gonna be doing is if you want to record it into your playlist, always make this a habit. If you're going to record using your controllers or anything, anything, you should always be making different patterns. So, I mean, you don't have to name them obnoxiously long like this, but it's important to know what you're using to keep track of the progress in your studio as your projects get bigger and bigger. So we have a new project. Put that right here. Now, we can do this, but it's not recording into the studio yet. What you need to do is come up here into the record automation or in score or whatever. You need to click on notes and automation. We went into what this does in our last tutorials. Notes and automation is what we're going with this time because that's going to do our keys and our velocity triggers and all that stuff. So, boom. Now, once we press play, you're going to hear a four count on the metronome. Once that four count is up or going, we're done counting, everything you play is going to be in the playlist clip. So you can keep your metronome on, which I recommend for most people. That way you can keep an actual tempo of what you're creating. You don't have to, though, depending on how you like to make music or not. You can quantize things as well. It's going to be another great tool. In fact, we'll go with the metronome on, so that way I can show you guys how to quantize your things as well, if we have time. How, cool, how long are we in this video right now? Six minutes? Yeah, we'll have time. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to do them either separate or together. Right now, we're just going to do the quick drum pattern. Let's get something going on. All right, so ready? You see that the red is enabled. Oh, <laughs> that's not on tempo. Anyway, so press stop. Boom. Look at that. Nice. And then you can do it again, but make a new pattern if you're going to do it. Keys. Boom. All right, I want you to put keys here. Enable. Notes and automation. Boom. Wow, what a beautiful melody. All right, cool. So we figured out how to do those separately. But the beauty of having your Akai or your MPC, MPK set up like this is that you can do both at the same time if you're someone who wants to do that. So Look at that. And that's saved as well. And if you really want to, guys, say you're actually on tempo with your creations, you can uh, go into here and uh, you can highlight what you want to or just use everything. You can highlight everything or just not highlight anything and it'll do it. You can go to your tools or you can go to your tools here. But uh, you go to tools, and if you want things to sound, uh, this is where the synchronizing to MIDI clock is important as well. But quick quant quick quanti quantize is going to synchronize your notes and stuff onto the um, onto specific parts of the playlist. Uh, as you could see, these are all lined up with eight. Like I think it's like eight or sixteen counts in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to twelve. Looks like I, I don't know. I think I have it set up to triplets. That must mean. Yeah, one three step. So it's syncing up to my triplets, which is nice. And if you want to, you can change it to a half step. See how that's like off right there now? If I if I did a quantize again, it should in theory. There you go. See, lock everything into the different steps and beats. The there's so many beats or measures inside of each actual like full bar. And you can decide what you want FL Studios to do. But either way, guys, this was how to get your um, MIDI controller doing these things in FL Studios as well. Whether it's your MPC or it's an Alessis or even just a keyboard. What you need to do to get it set up and be useful in this as well. I hope this answered some questions for people. If not, leave your question in 
the comments below. If, uh, you know, I didn't cover something that's important and you know it, leave it in there as well in the comments. That way people can check it out. Um, also, if you want to check out more songs, tutorials, things that are going to be coming up in the future, do remember to subscribe that you can check those out as well. I make a lot of satire, uh, how to copy different, well, how to cop different people's styles, you know, make tight beats as well, some comedy on here as well, and just songs that are coming up, advice and ideas. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for checking this out. I hope this helped. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This was Professor, P-R-O-F-E-S-S-O-A-R, signing off. Check out SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff, guys. All right. I hope you guys have a dandy night. And nice, 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Right? Peace.